today making these cheeky little treats. They really are delicious. If you want to make them, the ingredients you're going to need are all of these things right here. I'm not going to read them out because there are loads of them, so either pause the screen. Now, we're going to get started. We are actually using um, tinned pumpkin today because the pumpkins that you get um, can be a little bit bitter and we're making quite a sweet little pie today, aren't we? Yeah, so we thought these, <laughs> I love you. So we thought these would be a bit better. So Levi, where do we start? What do we need to do? So first we need to roll the... Well, pastry. Roll yeah. the pastry. So get about, rolling, so get rolling, Levi. So of a one pound coin. Nice one, thank you so much, Levi. Uh, leave it out of the fridge for about 15 minutes before you do this so it doesn't crack. Top tip there. Uh, Ryan, what are we doing next? Next, we have to cut the pastry into circles Very and place them lightly into the... Uh, yeah, the, the tin, the, the tin. tray, whatever. And we don't need to be neat, do we? We can just kind of... Look how we're doing them. We're just crushing them in. There we go. Looks really nice. Well done, Ryan. You keep doing that. And meanwhile, I'm going to grab from down here some greaseproof paper. That's hard to say. And a bit of rice. Now, I know this sounds a bit weird. Lindsay, why are you putting rice in a cake? Trust me. What you need to do is get your greaseproof paper. Help me do this bit, Ryan. Because you, you put it on top. You kind of pat it down. But do you see how it's not staying? Yeah. So this rice acts as a weight. So we get the spoon and I'll put it into your one. There we go, just to show you. Look at that. Try and be neat if you can. Don't get rice everywhere like me. And that acts as a weight just to hold it down. It's what professional bakers call a blind bake because that's kind of doing its job uh, in the oven. The next thing you need to do is put that in the fridge to chill for about 15 minutes. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, once that's done, uh, <laughs> you need to get it into the oven. But we're going to be making uh, some... I'll get these in. They'll, they'll go in. Uh, meanwhile, do I put this one in the oven? Yeah. With the rice in? OK, yeah, no, that does make sense. Yeah, that does make sense. There we go. It's in. Um, now, you're going to do some of the ingredients for the middle of the pie, aren't you? So, so what are we doing? So we put all the ingredients into the blender. OK, plonk them in. We don't have to be neat. I say that every make and bake, don't I? Plonk it in. Uh, here we go. So we've got that in, we've got the milk. We've got... I'll pass you them, you okay. chuck. They. There you go, bung them, bung them in. There we go, we've got an egg, we've got our sugar, we've got some butter, I didn't even know where that oh, was. Uh, we've got some <laughs> nutmeg. Mm. There we go, get the egg in, you do that bit, it's fun. And then we need to blend it together. If you don't have a blender, yes, the lid is on. Gosh, all the boss is worrying. Um, right, there we go, is that on enough? Clockwise, what do you mean? I never use these. If you don't have a blender, you can just do it with a spoon thing, right? Yeah, yeah thank you. OK, right. let's see what... Oh! <laughs> is, it, is that even working? Don't laugh, come on. <laughs> That'll do, something like that. Get the mixture all gooey and... Oh, how does this come off, Jack? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what? How do I Stick twist? It up. Stick it up. What do you mean? Spoon it out. I can't get it off. Oh! Yes. We really should have practiced that bit, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yes. What about this bit? Oh, no. <laughs> the blender's going to be the end of me. How do I get the lid off? I'm just going to... Right, look, we were meant to do this bit with a spoon. It's not going to happen. So you hold the tray and I'll just do this. That is going to work, Jack. Oh, it's not going to work. I can't get this on. <laughs> then, of course, you need to get your filling. It's going very well, isn't it? Yes. Uh, into all your little pastry things like that. You put them into the oven uh, and then you cook them, cook, bake, for about uh, 30 to 45 minutes. I'm not even going to bother putting those in. The next thing you need to do is decorate them. Have we got ones to decorate? Yes, they're yes. right here. Here we go. So you kind of split this into two because I'll give you guys some. We've got marshmallows and we've got a bit of dip. So there you go. Uh, you guys get decorating with the marshmallows. You can dump them into a bit of melted chocolate, uh, put some colours on there, get really creative. Uh, and the other end, they're doing exactly that. And you can then roll them in sprinkles. There you have it. Your very own... Uh, do you know what you're doing? Decorating. Let's decorate some marshmallows together. Uh, there you have your very own spooky pumpkin pies. Hiya, Marksy here. Subscribe to the Blue Peter YouTube channel right now. Check out our playlist, like this video, and for more Blue Peter, check out the BBC iPlayer. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.